All right, Model Rockets 321 here. Finally, going to get some launches going. I have a couple of friends with me here. Here we have hey, Steve up, and his daughter. What's your name? Ellie. All right, so we're going to witness some launches today. It's going to be a great day. Yep. yep. It's going to be a great day, like Steve said. Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs> all right, so I have, um, I'm going to put the drone up. I have the drone here. That's all set up there. And there's a launch controller, a couple pads out there. There's a tripod for video. This is SD's executioner. We're going to launch that first. And in the box, have some of the scale kits. Murphy Little Joe 1, Apollo Little Joe 2, and that is the Saturn 1 SA5, and the Canadian Black Brand X. It'll probably fly on a uh, composite reload motor. So we will see how things go. Our model rocket 321 getting his uh, little Joe 2 ready. Yes. Favorite rocket of his ever? All time. Little Joe All 2. All time. Apollo Little, little Joe 2. This is a super cool rocket. Yep. On the Apollo days. Very silver. Yep. This is the, the test of uh, command module, yeah. the capsule for the astronauts that were going to go in there and go to the moon. That some people don't think happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> People, yeah. People are strange that way. I think all the science is there for that. I love my conspiracies, don't get me wrong, but I think when I looked at what we can do, even the high power, yep. like, say, level three size rockets, yep. and I, yeah, I think the power's there. Oh, I think the power's there. And the know how, sure. yeah, I think, I think that's there. That's one where I'm still on the fence, you know, I'm still, yep. I think we, I think they did that. I think they did that. So a lot of wadding with this one? Yeah, I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna fill this up good. Yeah. Oh, wanna, yeah, that's I still a lot got a of singe, or, It's got a singe earlier. They always have a recommended number of um, how much. Do they? I wonder. Yeah, yeah, they give you how many. They tell you how many sheets. How many sheets That's why you see in? me. Yeah, but I'm gonna just pack it. Yeah, yeah feel pretty nice. Love the detail on this rocket. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, Sweet one. Yep. Yeah. yeah, SDs did a. They did a bang up job. I had a singe parachute earlier. That's why I'm just putting um taking my time. Gotcha, and, gotcha. Uh, getting some good winding in there. Yeah. Nice cushion. Does it singe? If you don't put enough water. Yeah, if you don't have enough, the, the gases get around. And and then it, then it, it, it burns the wadding and it, it touches. Yeah, it just it all it takes a little bit for plastic to burn. Yeah. That's why I really like the nylon parachutes. Yeah, because they don't. They but this really some, yeah, these are pretty good though. It's, it's proven. It works. Okay. Yeah, it works. But I do prefer the nylon. I was thinking with this kit, Estes would have went with a nice nylon chute for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So nice nose cone detail. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And There's I have a composite big, motors. One day, Steve, I have a bigger little Joe too. Do you? It flies on the G motor, yeah. Nice. We'll have to go probably a little further out that way to launch, but it flies on a G64 White Lightning, one of my favorite motors. G's are, you get the big, big plane. I gotta figure out my um, rubber band situation to hold this igniter in. Yeah, so these igniters have got to go. Yeah, but this is new. They added this black line. That tells me that's how far I got to take this. Oh, that's gotta cool. Got to find it. Don't just get yeah, there. We go. So it's certain area. There we go. There we go. There, right, right there. So there we go. And then I think I loop. Let me see. Up. This goes around. Around here a couple times to stay in.
what they recommended. Oh, and shoot. You want everything to sit in here nice and loose so it just all pops out and unfolds like that. But up there, not on the ground. Yeah, this is ready. Good. That's a good sign. This I already checked, but I'll take another look. Yeah, so. Okay. So, that's yeah, like that. that's nice. So it should be cool. We're getting the igniter on there. Yes. I'm gonna use the same tape. It has these igniter plugs, but I use gotcha. I've been using tape since I was like nine years old, so it never I mean, if it works, it works. <laughs> it works, yep. And this will actually go off the little pad, so. Oh. Oh cool. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's not that big. Yeah, I got the smaller lugs. Small. So. You always gotta think about when you're putting your igniter in where the launch lugs are. Yep. Yeah. And how you want something like this. Let's see. These igniters got to go all the way in. All right, so if you launch rockets, make sure your igniters go all the way in and touch the uh, the ejection. I mean, the igniter element in the inside. Yeah, make sure it goes all, all the way up, or you will get a misfire. Yeah. It won't go. All right, so that's in there. We're making our safety checks at the launch pad. Yes. Another tip is after you launch a few rockets, you can um, sand off those alligator yep. clips. That's another thing. Get a better connection. Yes. All right, so just launched the Saturn 1 SA5, got some loopy loops because I believe I forgot, well, the re what I think happened is I forgot to put the nose weight in there. See, with Rocky Tree, there's all kind of things that can go wrong, and you have to have your checklist and follow what the instructions say sometimes. So I forgot to put nose weight, and if you watch, you'll see this footage of the rocket doing some loopy loops, but it landed pretty much with no damage, just a little bit of little char from the ejection that happened on the ground but pretty much zero damage. 
So I'm gonna try to get nose weight in here and get this launched again today. As you can see the drone, I got the drone hovering. All right, so Model Rocks 321 is still here. Um, Saturn 1 SA5 did some loop-de-loops earlier because I didn't have nose weight. I added nose weight, but the motors are E12 for SD, they recommend D12-3. That's a little more power, but I added the nose weight now and I'm a little nervous about this launch. Hopefully everything goes good with this. Um, straight flight, parachute, well two parachutes, and come on home. That's, that's what I'm asking for. So Saturn 1 SA5 is right there on the ground, as you can see, ready to go. Um, I'm going to do the honors of launching this one. Steve will be on camera and we'll take it from there. Camera's live. Camera is live. Saturn 1 SA5 going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Loops again. Parachute, 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 parachute. Oh. On the ground, parachute again. Oh, that's okay, it's, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yep. Uh-oh. Tamp it out quick. Yep, there we go. Good job. Did you get Good that? Job. Yep. And we got a fire. So let's go to the scene of the... Let's go figure it out. Yep. Saturn one is a court. You got you good. Yep. All right, so... Nice. Straight, sort of. Started out good, right? Yep. Started out really started good. good. A little lot higher than last time. Yeah, higher. So I'm thinking Not more nose weight. Yeah. I think more nose weight will more do it. Weight. But that is all we're going to get for today. Yep. Let's go check the damage. Hopefully, none again. All right. Awesome. So. Glad it didn't land in here. No, I know. Me too. How are we looking? Bunch of exhaust on this cone. I'll show you this. Oh, yeah, we got some damage this time. Do we? Yeah, it's on parts off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got some parts. Antenna panel came off. Could have landed in these rocks. Still not bad, though. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah it's, bust it's busted. So, yeah, we'll, we'll look at this. Yeah. And uh, Mercury Lojo 1 did great. Estes Executioner was another good flight. The only one that gave the issues was the Saturn 1 SA5. Did some modifications, did a couple loop de loops. So I'll be working on that rocket, getting it back up and revisiting this. See if I can get the issues worked out. So here's the box with all the rockets in there as I pack up and get ready to go. There they are in there. Everybody's in there ready to go. So catch you on another one.